They're a marvel of the botanical world, giant water lilies dominating the pond in Kew Gardens. But these aren't just extraordinary to look at, they're also a species that's new to science. They are huge, aren't they? And they feel so strong kind yeah. of when you press down on them. Under the bath, there is a network of uh, nerves and they are filled with air. So basically it's like a floating mat. For years, these plants have masqueraded as another species. But Carlos Magdalena, one of the world's leading water lily experts, long suspected this wasn't the case. When you think this is a new species, you have to demonstrate it. And this is what we as have done. Um, and I believe we have done it in, you know, looking at every single aspect. This is just one of those things which is, I cannot really put it into words, you know. I believe this is the highlight of my career. And this new species is called Victoria boliviana, named after Bolivia, where it grows in the wild. Standing here, you really get a sense of just how huge this is. This is one plant and it's still growing. Not only is this the first discovery of a new giant water lily species in more than 100 years, it's also now the biggest water lily in the world, with leaves that grow to more than three metres. That's 10 feet in size. Astonishingly, the new species had been hiding in Kew's archives for more than 150 years. A specimen was collected and dried and stored, but wrongly identified. The discovery now brings the number of giant water lily species to three, and a key part of studying them is to make detailed botanical drawings where the differences start to stand out. This is the open flower of the new species. I think it's one of the most, oh, maybe I'm biased, but out of the three species, I think it, it's one of the most beautiful flowers. Drawings of the different water lilies revealed their unique features. As I was able to get access to the flowers and also looking at the leaves, I could, as an illustrator, highlight those differences that I saw. And in fact, while I was drawing those differences, they became even stronger in my mind and I found new ways of telling them apart. The Water Lily House was built in the 1800s to showcase Kew's extensive collection. Water lilies were a natural wonder of the Victorian age. But this new discovery shows these giants, even today, hold some surprises. And scientists say they still have much to learn about these remarkable plants. Rebecca Morell, BBC News.